Hello my friends of Qatari Labs, my name is Simon Doya. Please welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial we are going to do a georeferencing um, image or a raster. But in this case, instead of doing that with QIS, we are going to do that with Python. Okay, on the description of the video, you are going to have this compressed, this zipped folder. Yeah, that you have to, to, to place it on your document folder. And we are going to start with Anaconda Prom CD documents CD uh, georeferencing and then Jupyter Lab. Okay, great. So let's have a look um, on the process. Okay, first we are going to import the required uh, package and the required package are Rasterio, Matplotlib and the show from Rasterio. This is a utility. Okay, let me... Okay, then... Okay, then we are going to open this... We are going to open this file. Mm -hmm. That is a normal uh, GPG file, okay, without any referencing, okay. And then, well, we open that, and this will be called unref and reference raster, right? I don't know why it takes so long on the first cell. Okay. What does it says is that this, uh, even that we have opened the rasterio, the the image, the image has no geo transform, okay. So and that is true because the image is unreferenced, okay. But we can read the array, we can plot the. This is a, a multiband. This has this image has three bands, okay. And then here we can see the shape, the number of rows and column of this image. Okay, so, well, how we do georeference, I mean, how we capture the coordinates and then how we refer these coordinates. Okay, in order to do that, you have to open, you have to open the image with the paint uh, utility in Windows. So you right click and then you open with paint. Okay, that is a external software. Okay. And for example, here if I place my cursor here, okay, the row, the column and row uh, coordinates will appear here. Okay, for example, in this for this one is around one high, uh, the column number is 190 and the row number is 368. Okay, so you have to pick, um, and this will correspond to minus 81, uh, to the longitude minus 81 and to the latitude minus 1. Okay, and here you have a capture of the pixel. And these are the coordinates, okay? And these will correspond to minus 81 to 1. So I say this row 368, 368, column 190, okay, correspond to minus 81, J minus 1. Okay, so we insert this is our first uh, control point, our second control point will be minus 81, minus 16, that corresponds to the row 3497 and the column 239, okay? And that is the, our second uh, point of reference, okay? And our third point of reference correspond to this row and column, that is latitude minus 69 degrees and longitude, no, la, la, longitude minus 69 and latitude minus 7. 17. Okay, great. You can have more. I mean, this is not uh, restricted to just one. This is not restricted to just 
uh, four, three control points. You can have four or five. That really depends up to you. And then you create a list of these control points. You create as a list. And from that, you use Rasterio transform from GCPs, and then you insert the list of the points, and it will give you the find that is the transformation from the image, from the array, to the raster. Okay. Then we define the we define the output path. In this case, will the the output raster will be GeoRef raster. And the driver will be as a TIFF file. Great. And then, well, it works this way. I, I try to do it in, for example, opening and writing and then closing. Doesn't work. It works in this way. Okay, where this is the height, the width. There are three bands because the RG and blue, RGB, uh, red, green, and blue. And the system of reference is this construction that uh, calls the CRS module. Okay, and then here we add the EPSG code, and the transformation is that the one that we have from the three control points. Okay, and then we write the one, two, and three. Then we write the three bands. Okay, the red, green, and blue. Uh, okay, that's it. So here on data, you have created the GeoRaster file. And then here you can run it and show the GeoRaster file. And then you will see that it's already a geospatial. This is a already geospatial reference. Okay. And if you want to, you can test this. This is the GeoRaster. Okay. That weighs 34 megabytes. Okay. And then you can uh, open that in QIS and it will be, okay. I will do it. Okay, so here I can call the your raster.tif. Okay, and then I can put a Google satellite image below. And then I can, okay. Can give some transparency and then here I can turn in trough and I see that it's already georeference. The precision of this actually will depend well on how well you capture the coordinate points and as well will depend on how how it what is the precision of the map itself. Okay. Well, this is the tutorial. I'm really happy to have given you this tutorial because it was one of the, our first application on QAIS 10 years ago. And now we do it with Python. So it means that we are shifting to another age on a spatial analysis. Um, before finishing, just to mention that we have an e-commerce shop.hatarilabs.com and this e-commerce is a website where you can uh, buy our diploma for example the common diploma on groundwater modeling with python and flowpy and as well you have a series of online courses that you can take and just to remember that uh, you can show us your support of the tutorials that we give by taking one of the courses or diplomas from us okay thank you and see you in coming tutorials